It's your boy Nungun in the house, back with another bang on video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really happy that you guys actually understood that we had a lot of problems in terms. I'll tell you what what was the problem was. I think uh, the mic actually the uh, I use a third party application to actually connect my mic to my computer. That actually did not work out with the streaming app that I was using. That actually is a problem with the streaming app. But I I I think the mic went off first of all. And since it was my first time doing it with my laptop, I think uh, I should have known better, but I did not. So I, I hope you guys understand, and you, did, you guys, you guys did, because when the first stream actually went off, the second one, you guys came into it and, and gave me 50 peak concurrence. If I remember, my friend uh, Gorang actually told me that uh, 68 were uh, the peak concurrence uh, in the first one. That is an awesome and huge number. But I still have kept the live uh, on uh, the uh, the channel itself. So if if anyone wants to watch it. Uh, Though it's a disaster, but it is what it is because I've already provided some important and useful information by which I'm going to repeat in this video. But also, there is some spicy news about Thomas Party. If you guys would love to, you guys would love it. I, I trust me on this. You guys would love it. So do tune into this. Uh, 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 this uh, uh, most probably inf information and if you guys still haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for guys daily content and I have put up it tomorrow we'll have another live just to make up uh, for today's live so I, I can you know converse with you guys more uh, more uh, clearly I'll make sure it won't be a failure and you won't have a bad experience with me tomorrow so tomorrow is going to be a live and uh, that's actually done uh, I've actually made sure that uh, you know on a special consideration we have a live tomorrow so the first news is Arsenal have finished in the 8th place in the 2019-2020 Premier League season, their lowest ever finish in a 38 game Premier League season. The first time they've finished outside the top 6 in a 20 team Premier League format. And in my previous live I actually told you why. You know there are news that Dio Pamecano has extended his contract with RB Leipzig. Somebody tells you it's done. And there are certain news also which says, which, which says that he is set to sign a new contract extension with RB Leipzig that will prevent him from leaving for free this uh, season. The contract has an exit scenario that is suitable for all parties should it happen. Now, when you talk about all parties, it has to suit. Anyhow, it has to suit RB Leipzig as well. So how will that, that work out? Here it is. Well, the contract extension means that Opamecano will sign a new one-year deal following positive talks between Ralf Ragnick, since he is not leaving uh, for AC Milan, and the club's sporting director and the player's agent. Now, everyone is happy that uh, Opamecano signs a one-year extension. That means they're doing this just because they get a one-year extension so that they could sell him on at least good amount of money rather than let him go on a free. So that is the reality of this. Do not mean... He, he, why it could happen because Timo Werner signed a new contract in 2019, which suggested, and that did not mean uh, that did not mean that he would stick with RB Leipzig. That clearly mean meant that if any team comes to sign Timo Werner, at least Timo Werner does not uh, is not lost on a free transfer, but to a significant amount of money, at least with a release clause of 50 to 60 million pounds. That is the same scenario with Dio Pamecano. So do not believe that Dio Pamecano is forever uh, RB Leipzig player. He's not. Side Benrama is attracting Premier League interest with Arsenal and Chelsea both monitoring the Algerian. Benrama is rated at thirty million pounds by Brentford. This is according to Mark Ogden. Well, uh, Willian to Arsenal on a free for a three-year contract on his wages would be cost somewhere around twenty million pounds. Coutinho on loan for one year would cost around twenty million pounds in wages and loan fees. So let's see how that will turn out for Arsenal if it is turning out in any way. Also. There could be minimum 30-day break for all Premier League clubs, which may cause a little bit of issues. Ma James Madison has signed a new deal with Leicester City for a four-year uh, contract at 110k uh, per week, uh, 110k uh, pounds a week, and Leeds squad get money back and. Uh, the clear named uh, Premier League equality advisor Southampton apologized to Higgins victims and Wolves to sign Villa goalkeeper so let's see anything happens or not but despite a lack of football it is understood that Socrates will not leave ask to leave Arsenal this summer and has asked and has actually told Arteta that he will continue to fight for his place in the side let's see now here's the reality of uh, uh, Philippe Coutinho to Arsenal Coutinho initially rejected Arsenal because it meant taking a pay cut important because Arsenal are not ready to pay his salary in full. Coutinho said no, but a few days ago he asked Arsenal for an extension to make a decision. It keeps the door open. Arteta loves Coutinho and the London club has taken the necessary steps. Though Leicester City, Tottenham have already qualified for Europe, they can now make a concrete move for Coutinho. But let's talk about a special winger in the name of Wilfred Zaha. Roy Hodgson has confirmed that Wilf Zaha is set on leaving 
crystal palace while he is about to leave the and here's what hotson has said it's a dilemma for the club and a dilemma for me for him if he is so set on leaving if he feels he just does not want to be with us anymore that would be sad we still like him very much we can't make him like us this is a situation that only he and the club can sort out i don't have an answer so it's pretty much clear wilfred zaha because of last uh, season's debacle that nikola pepe actually signing with arsenal he wants to leave crystal palace now let's talk about willian Chelsea are now the favourites to retain uh, Willian and a deal could be agreed, could be agreed before the end of the week. Uh, it appears a breakthrough has been achieved over a new contract. The news will come as a blow for Arsenal, not yet. It could be and I don't believe there could be. Watford's XG yesterday of 4.07 according to Scout, is the highest any Premier League opponent has registered against Arsenal since the company made that data publicly available at the start of 2015-2016 season. So yes, Arsenal versus Watford was a very a very very positive game for Watford not in terms of the result but in terms of performance and the last Premier League team with a higher XG at the Emirates were Arsenal who registered 5.35 against Manchester United on December 2nd 2017 they lost 3-1 now let's talk about something huge Alan Shearer says Manchester United Man City and Chelsea will all be serious rivals to Liverpool's the Premier League title next season and he does not consider Arsenal in it he says whether Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's team can get back to where their fans believe they belong depends on who they get in. They obviously need strengthening. They need 3 or 4 if they want to challenge for the league. It is the same with Chelsea. They can win the FA Cup on Saturday against Arsenal. What, what a great first season for Frank Lampard that would be. That is without being able to spend and losing their best player in, in Aiden Hazard. Lampard has rotated their youngsters very well. It could be a brilliant campaign for Chelsea and in the next one with Timo Wen and Hakim Ziyech already signed, they will surely accumulate far more than just two-thirds of the points Liverpool amass like they have this time. It will be a lot closer. I don't think anyone will dominate like Liverpool have done this season. Ainsley Maitland-Nile says he insists winning the FA Cup is Arsenal's main objective. He says, it's been a long and tough season without the fans being here and what's going on, go, what's going on in the world. We're just going to push on and think about the final. Now, the main objective is trying to bring the trophy home. Now, straight away, straight away to Thomas Partey news. Let's talk about only Thomas Partey right now. So, the video is made because of Thomas Partey. So, here's the official thing that recently happened. Thomas Partey's official spokesperson for news of his signing for Arsenal. He says, I have not seen a player calm as... Thomas, in the midst of everything that was said about his future, he did not collapse under pressure and did not act inappropriately. He acted always fully professionally. Uh, in circumstances such as that, which Thomas went through from his father's statements, hacking into his Instagram account and publishing controversial posts about his future, it was easy to bow, but he did not bow down to it. A lot of people have linked Thomas to the transfer of some clubs, perhaps because they expect that he will end up in that club because of its levels and capabilities. It is normal for one to ask himself, is it free for me to listen to these votes? But he was professional all the time. And Thomas actually joined Atletico Madrid in 2011 as a child and now he is a man. His contract extends to 2023. At this moment in time, while these statements are made, Thomas's focus is to help Atletico Madrid win the Champions League. Now, the program announcer Benjamin Nketiah asks, him are there real and serious interests and outreach from the english premier league thomas Partey's official transfer spokesperson says he actually refrains from answering he does not answer this question again the announcer asked will thomas Partey move official spokesperson laughed shyly and kept it unanswered so it's pretty much clear thomas Partey's agent has kept it i'm sorry not agent his official spokesperson has kept it unclear he she shyly you know uh, refrain from answering any questions related to it so it's pretty much clear they don't want they don't want to create any hu hu hype to it and nothing like that but he laughed it's pretty much there is there is something to it we are in negotiation that's that's it that's a that's the reality well Kave Sole calls a uh, sky reporter has actually spoken about Mesut Ozil's future he says it is clear that Arsenal would prefer if he left the club this summer simply to get his wages off the book and Arsenal actually who hope, according to Mike McGrath says, who hope to reach the Europe through the FA Cup may just stick with the squad they have. Players took wage reductions during football's closure which effectively rules out heavy spending. There has been interest in party but persuading Aubameyang to commit his future to the club would be the most important signing. But I totally, totally do not completely agree with what Mike McGrath actually has to say. Though he's a very good source of information, but this sort of information is really empty for me. Without investment, Arsenal are not going to go forward. No, they can't. They cannot. Did you know, a fun fact, 
Arsenal never led 3-0 under Unai Emery in a Premier League. Arsenal already led 3-0 three times under Mikel Arteta. So all we got to do is trust the process. We just do not have to jump on it because Mikel Arteta is looking at his midfield as a key priority this summer as well and wants to add a box-to-box -box midfielder. Thomas Partey is his prime target having long been identified as a player who could make a significant impact in North London. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. So don't forget, the transfer window is here. We are going to smash it by, uh, you know, jo joining in the live tomorrow and we are going to smash it similarly by getting informed by all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.